Eric Ten Hag press conference reaction. Sometimes, man, the best thing to do is just be quiet, man. Ten Hag, before in his press conferences, he's come out talking about Harry Potter and, oh, the sun's going to come up in the morning and all this stuff, man. Now, he's come out today after we just drew 0-0 to Aston Villa. This is what he had to say. It's the fourth clean sheet of the season and our fifth loss, Ten Hag. I don't, I don't know if we're watching the same. I don't know if we're watching the same sport or the same game, but what I'm seeing on my screen is terrible. Um, but he's talking about it's the fourth clean sheet of the season. You can see we had very good organization and togetherness. That was good character and good spirit as a team, determined, resilient. Then this guy saying the other game um, at, at halftime in the locker room when he went in the locker room, he said that to the players that you know the sun's gonna come up tomorrow and all this stuff. The sun's gonna rise and I'm like, what the what is what is he talking about? Then before in the pay, he talked about Harry Potter in the press conference. In the press conference, bro, this dude's talking about here comes the sun and I said. It's, this dude's like singing John Lennon songs or something. Some of the sun's gonna come up in the morning. We had good organization and togetherness, and good character. We have lost. We have. We haven't won five games in a row. How is that good character? Well, why does this guy even come out and say anything? I, w I I'm telling you, I would just take the fine. I wouldn't say anything. I don't know this dude. This dude does not help Ten Hag enters, man. He is, he is, he is sabotaging himself. I, I, it's, I am literally on my own in the battlefield. It's like I'm just shooting with a machine gun, and there's like a hundred, a hundred battle droids. I'm just shooting, and they're coming from all directions. I'm like, do, 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 do. I'm, I'm running out of bullets. Do, 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 do. And it's like I'm just running out of bullets. I'm trying to defend this manager, and he's just shooting. I can't. I, I'm, do, 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 do. I'm just shooting and shooting. And it, they just keep coming and coming, and the pressure's just piling on and on, man. And there's nothing I can do. And then you just start throwing the gun. You start throwing punches because there's nothing else you can do. And then eventually you go down, man, because there's just too many of them, man. It's too much. It's just too much pressure. Um, this is him after the full-time whistle. All smiles. Um, he was all smiles before the game. This don't look like a man that's under pressure. Because when you're under pressure, you, you're not really smiling that much. I mean, what what is there to smile about? My job is on the line. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand. Eric Ten Hag is set for crisis talks with Manchester United. Um, apparently, there's um something going around that's saying Avram or Joel Glazer is going to come. They're all going to have a meeting on Tuesday. When they come in, if the Glazers come in, it, because this happened under Ollie. It, it might be done, man. Unfortunately, it might be done, man. Um, all, all, any. Look at look how many people came from Mag United for an away game. This is the board, people. The um, it was that Tom Heaton and some other people. These are the board. This is a board. All these guys came to an away game. Sir Alex Ferguson. Look at all Ratcliffe. This is all of any else. All of these people came to an away game. Psh. That's not good. That's not good, man. That's not good. That is so not good, man. Um, he might be screwed. No, I'm not gonna lie, man. This this might just be, this might just be the end, man. I, I don't know. I hope not. But when the whole board is coming to an away game, the whole board, look, everybody's there. Omar's there. The only people that aren't there are the Glazers. But they don't give a shit. Once again, all they're gonna do is they're gonna come down. They're going to sign off the final decision of whatever the CEO decides, and they're going to go back and fuck off to Florida because that's what they're going to do. They don't give a shit, man. They don't care. They don't care about the $15 million. They don't. They don't care. These guys don't care, man. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care, man. And, and, and it's, it's sad, man. It's, it's really, really sad. Um, I also had something. Where did this guy say this at? The CR7 timeline. Dude, I'm, I'm so tired of these damn... Oh, my God, bro, these Ronaldo fans are so annoying. This guy said a reminder that Eric Tanak single-handedly ruined Manchester United and their fans chose this bald fraud over a club legend and Cristiano Ronaldo. They deserve everything that is happening to them and more. Deserve what? Deserve what? For what? This was over, what, two and a half years ago. Why are people still talking about Ronaldo? Good God, I mean, they're still talking about this Ronaldo and Tanak. Even Ronaldo's coming out. I'm fed up with it. Why don't these players perform? I, I'm, I'm sick of it, man. You got Rashford saying he coming out saying he lost his mind. You got and honestly, after what Ten Hag said, I think he has lost his mind. The last game, other game, he's talking about the sun's gonna come up in the morning. 
You got him before talking about Harry Potter. Now you got him coming out saying organization and togetherness. We drew. We haven't won in five games. This manager has lost his mind. Like I said, it's like being in the battlefield. You're shooting all of the droids, and, and you're running out of bullets. I, I'm running out of. I'm running out of space, man. It's like my back's up against the fucking wall. Like, I, like this manager doesn't help himself, man. And then you got Ronaldo fans cramming on him. You know, you already know Piers Morgan's probably cramming. Everybody's cramming on this manager. He is getting lit up from all angles. I don't even have to look at. I mean, he's getting lit up every every bitch way in turn. Even the rivals want Ten Hag to stay, man. It's, it's just sad, man. But <sighs> I don't know, man. This international break's gonna be interesting. Will he still be here? We'll have to see, man. If he's still here. Hopefully so. Um, if he's not, my dad's going to be proven right. He's going to be gone, and I'm going to be pissed the fuck off. But I just have to eat that, man. It is what it is. So, yeah, it's been my time to see you guys. And, and plus, I mean, you know, I want him to do well, but, you know, the trophies that he's won. And also, him coming out talking about trophy, these trophies. Tell me he's won eight trophies in, in eight trophies since 2014. Liverpool have won eight trophies. Look, man, look, look. Why are you comparing... Era Divisi trophies, the Premier League trophies. That's a whole different league for one. And two, the two trophies we've won, Liverpool have won a Premier League. They've won other stuff. We're talking about an EFL Cup and an FA Cup. Come on, man. That, nah, man. I, I can't co-sign that. Ten Hag, you're backing yourself into a corner. I, I wish you would shut the fuck up. I, re I really do. I wish you would just shut the fuck up. You're, you're, backing, you're backing your little fan base you have left into a fucking corner. And all the ten I got are just piling on. I, I, I can't do shit. I'm fucking stuck. I'm out, man. I'm done.